my name is Stephanie Burris, and I'm here with my colleague, Demetrios, and we're gonna be showing you the OwnMSI Remote Fiber Test Solution family today. This solution can be used for many different use cases. We can test point-to-point, -point, point to multipoint and DWDM networks, including um, data center applications as well. This family includes two different optical test heads as well as two software options. So let's take a look at those. All right, right here, we have the, the OTU 5000. This is our ultra compact test head. It's one third rack unit. So it's really ideal for a location that is limited in power and space. It also has the, a, a 1625 nanometer OTDR in it that's extremely sensitive and it allows us to test a very long distance, okay? And then we also have OTU 8000 and this one is modular. So this slot here allows me to change out the OTDR and so I can have a tunable DWDM OTDR in here which is our latest module um, and many different other wavelengths are possible as well. Okay, this, both of these units have internal switches and they're very high speed switches to allow you to routine across your network and you know, scan many different fibers rapidly. Okay, so the, uh, first of all, I'm gonna start with the Smart OTU software. Um, so Dem Demetrios has an example up here and what he's done is simulate a break in the network. And so you can see this red line here on our Google Street View map will show us exactly where that break is, and it will also give us the distance, the location of the break. So that means you can dispatch to fix and not to find. That saves a lot of time and allows you to restore your network service quickly. It can also track degradation. Um, now, Demetrios has shown us some of the details that come up from the Smart OTU trace, and it will give us the severity, the fiber break location, of course, and um, the GPS locations. So a technician can have an alarm come right to his phone or his computer, and he can have the GPS location of that fault. So that allows him to go precisely to the right place. That's our very simple point-to-point -point, uh, plug and play solution. So it doesn't require any training. You just put this in your network and away you go. The next software option we have is OnMSI. OnMSI has a centralized server with a high availability option. It allows you to maintain a large uh, set of data points in there with a network inventory. It can integrate and uh, work seamlessly with other systems such as your dispatch system with an API. And, uh, and we can store all kinds of information about what's happening in the network over time. So we will see all alarms, all history of alarms, all the events that are there on the line, and we can track degradation. That allows us to proactively maintain our network. So today we're gonna to be demonstrating our pond construction test option. And this uh, pond test solution allows you to do construction. So before your network's lit up, you can test the network and fully qualify it in an automated fashion. It allows you to do activation. So when a customer calls and wants to have service, we can test on demand and make sure that we have all the proper signal strength to their house or their apartment or our business. And then it also allows us to do routine monitoring and maintenance and protection of the network once it's up and running so that we can minimize outages and restore service in the event that someone digs up our fiber and causes an outage, okay? So with this pond construction test option, let me show you what my test set becomes. I carry this tiny little reflector out into the field and I install this at my test point in order to increase the reflectance in the pond network so that I can uh, obtain a peak and trace that line. So bear in mind that all pond networks contain splitters. And every time you split your optical power, you're reducing also the signal the OTDR can read, the reflectance that it obtains coming back. So we increase it with this reflector. The second part of my test set is going to be my mobile phone. And so it's very lightweight, very portable, and very easy to use, fully automated. With that, what we can do is run a test in 10 seconds, and we'll know whether or not we have end-to-end -end visibility, continuity, and proper optical budget. We'll see a pass-fail result, and we don't leave until we fix that network and, uh, and we've got a good solution for our customer. Okay, with that, Demetrios is going to show us how he runs that test and tags it to the right location in the network. So, when we're out in the field, 
we need to know the location of the test point. And so what we can do is preload all of the test points into the ONMSI database, and we can arm our technician in the field with a scanner that allows him to scan the barcode of that precise location. So he doesn't have to type anything in or suffer from manual errors. However, it is possible for him to manually type in a PAN ID location. So with that, Demetrius is going to scan this barcode, and then he's gonna show what it's like to run this 10 second test. Here you go, Demetrius. So we start by scanning. It's immediately detected the, the home, and then we can start the test immediately. Select the type of the reflector, and we say OK. So it will take something like 10 seconds until we have the result. And the result, the thresholds can be set up by the operator, and based on the results, the, the technician can accept the result or escalate if uh, you know are not uh, within the if we need to troubleshoot okay great so now have you tagged this particular test to this location in the network yeah so we know we know that this is a specific home Lisbon home 05 which is as per this point so we have the result here so the result is uh, we can see here the optical distance we can see the attenuation the losses up to that point and also the um, um, the, the peak because of the reflector. So we can accept this one and associate peak. We accept and then it's, this peak is now associated with uh, the specific home. Okay. So the technician, the next step is to, to remove the, the reflector and go and to the And move next on step. to the next home. It's, it's very fast, it only takes 10 seconds to complete it. Okay, great, thank you for showing us that. As you can see, this is a very easy and automated process to test your pond network. And you can, as you build, you test, you test, you test, right? And so that you don't leave a section of the network that has uh, events and failures in it. And it's very, very easy to do. Now, Demetrios did not have to manually enter anything into the database. He doesn't have to record his test results manually. He doesn't have to carry papers around and have potential for, for errors as well. Um, now, we're going to take a look at the ONMSI interface on the monitor here, and I'm going to show you how the database looks. And as Demetrius mentioned, you can see the optical distance, we can see power, loss or attenuation, we also have a timestamp. And if we have a failure during the test, we can, as he said, escalate, and we can run a longer test to trace that, that entire line so we have end-to-end -end visibility, and that will allow us to locate the event that is causing our, our severe loss that might cause that location to fail as we're building. So that way we can direct our team, you need to go exactly to this location, and go fix maybe this connector or this splice, for example. So with that, let's look at the ONMSI. We're gonna look at the, the GUI, but first I wanna show you some of our uh, information about our test setup, okay? So what we have here is a pond construction simulation box, essentially. It's our test box, and we've got different fiber scenarios in here. So scenario one, has a cascading splitter. Scenario two has cascading splitters as well. And the reason why we want to test with multiple different scenarios and demonstrate this for customers, of course, is because splitters reduce the power, right? It's splitting the power. And so we have a little bit more challenge in getting, getting our signal strength and our reflectance back. So that's why we use our reflector, as I mentioned before. And then we happen to be running our test currently on a single splitter, one by 32 split type of pawn. And uh, we have several splices in the network. We have a connector box, we have a drop box. So we can uh, show how all of these events would present in ONMSI. Okay, so Demetrios is showing the ONMSI GUI. And as you'll see here, he has selected Lisbon Home 5, which is what he just scanned on his mobile phone. And now we've got all of the information in the GUI here to show us those features that I mentioned, right? The distance, the power, the loss, the timestamp, etc. And we can drill onto the OTR trace if we want to as well. Um, also, you'll see that we have many different homes in here. We have hundreds and hundreds of homes that are recorded as either past, i.e. they're ready for someone to come and activate service, or homes connected, so they're actually in service and live. So we have a full inventory of our network as built with all of this accurate data, and we can manage our network now proactively. So this enables things such as like self-installation of the PON service, because we can remotely test it on demand before someone's service gets turned on. And then if we have some sort of event that damages our network, perhaps we have an element that has a problem, 
we can also troubleshoot and verify, is it the fiber? If it's not the fiber, then we know that it might be an ONT or an OLT issue. So it allows us to rapidly troubleshoot problems as well as proactively maintain our entire fiber network, and that will make ourselves much more profitable as a business. So that is the, the value proposition for this uh, product. We want to make it fast, easy, right, Air, error free, um, totally automated in terms of recording all the data that we need, and then we want to set ourselves up for success when we activate and we maintain our network and so that we don't need as many people fanning out and testing in the network with OTDRs and wasting time doing things that they could do in an automated fashion. Thanks for watching.